All right, Brewer 3D Designs. I'm finally back with the Lab 599 Discovery um, screen protectors. So let's get into it. This is how I normally carry uh, the radio day to day. This is a um, tactical first tactics pouch. Anyway, let's let's get in here. So you can see when I pull it out. Here's the screen cover and the VFO cover. And also I have the covers for the um, GX12 connectors on the side, I believe they're called. So right out of the bag, um, this is what it looks like all protected. These are held on loose. I'll toss them right back in the bag. And that's about it. If you're here for uh, the screen protector and cover protectors this is it this is what you will get easy peasy made out of ABS plastic I normally don't keep these to attach the ones for the DC input and the microphone speakerphone uh, but just for the sake of today's video I want to show you what all five covers would look like so let me toss those back on they are held on loosely they just rest up against the bag which keeps them on um, I know this radio is really rugged by itself, but let's say you're, you know, you're, you're going to be flying with it and you want to check it uh, in your luggage and you don't have one of those bird cases. Well, you know, this you could pretty much stand on and it's not going to hurt the screen or the VFO knob. So it's pretty much bomb proof at this point, as long as you wrap something around here to securities if you uh, don't want them coming loose in a bag. But I have so much stuff crammed into the bag that there's no way that's going to happen. So. I'm going to continue to set up this radio because pretty much I have everything contained in this bag as I would if I wanted to go do a uh, portable, play portable radio. Um, but if you just wanted to come for the screen cover to see what that was like, uh, you can stop watching now. I'll put a link below where you can buy them from Etsy and where you can download them for free and print them yourself from Thingiverse. So thanks for watching for that. So continuing on, let's see. Got my 1300 uh, milliamp 3S LiPo battery. Uh, this table has holes in it. Also carry six feet of RG8X and a few spare connectors, but that's it. Everything was already in the bag, almost ready to go. I will eventually be putting an antenna in a bag. But that's one of the reasons why I'm here out in the park right now is so I have a QRP guys in fed, no tune in fed half wave that I'm gonna tune up. Um, it's built, I just have too much wire attached to it, so I'm going to toss up a line and see if I can get that tuned up right now. And hopefully, once I get it tuned up uh, to 20 meters, resonant on 20, I'll, may, I'll probably also make another extension for 40 that I can put on some speed terminals and just take off and put on as needed for uh, later in the afternoon. But for 20, I'm going to get this tuned up with some uh, low speaker wire, speaker wire antenna, about a spool of 100 feet. I just pulled it apart so I really have 200 feet. And once I get this all wrapped up on here, I will be able to put this also in this bag and that will be that. Everything I'll need to get on the air uh, with the wire antenna will be contained in this one bag. So I really like that. I really like that. Thanks for watching.